It's such a beautiful thing when you pray for somebody and you see it come true. That's how powerful prayer is. You know, when you manifest something and you create something yourself, there's no satisfaction in it. You just want more. But when you're praying for somebody and you see that miracle happen, it's like there's nothing better. There's nothing more fulfilling than praying for someone and seeing their life turn around, you know? It's been three weeks since I recorded last, and that video seems to do, be doing pretty well. It seems like people are also feeling like they've had a similar experience, which was my whole goal with that video in the first place, was to help you feel less alone if, you're, if you are going through something similar. And there was one girl who actually became born again from that video, guys. So, guys, my cat right now is out of control. Come on. <laughs> I wanted to update you guys since the last video. So I only have two videos on my channel now. The first one was the part one when I decide I made that decision to walk with God and God alone and leave away and leave all that new age stuff behind. And it's funny, I actually rewatched it today and I feel like I still was a little bit confused, a little bit like I wasn't fully convicted yet in my sins or what I'd been doing. And then I watched the second one and that's when I feel like that real change occurred, which was a couple weeks later. And now it's been three weeks since that video even, and I feel like I've just learned so much. I've just been diving into the Bible like crazy, and His Word is the truth, and I know that now, and it's just blatantly obvious to me now. And all this time in the last few years, I've been searching for purpose. Why am I here? What am I supposed to do? And I could never find it. When I was in the New Age, it's really big on finding your purpose. If you're in it, you know. It's pretty much, that's one of the ways people get sucked into it is, why am I here? What is my purpose? Let me figure this out. And all of these new age things are there to help you figure it out. Like your Zodiac, your human design, your Enneagram, or however you say that. They're, they're all of these self-help tools and these different things that you can do to help you find your purpose, but then you end up never finding it. <laughs> or you find purpose in that area in new age, which I think is the enemy's plan the whole time, is to get you into that stuff, stay in that stuff, and in that hamster wheel, and in absolute misery, guys. I feel like I literally went to hell and back. I really do. I genuinely feel like I went to hell and back. It was horrible. It was a horrible experience, and I don't wish it on anybody. I really don't. But now that I came out of it, I feel like I have found my purpose, and that purpose is to spread the word of God and to help other people get out of new age, get out of that way of thinking that you create your own reality. You don't create your own reality. God is creating your reality for you. It's his plan. He is in charge. And if you think you're in charge, something is wrong and you're confused and you're following new age concepts. You can create your own reality using the law of attraction and using manifestation and the law of assumption, but you're not working with God when you do that because you're not part of God's plan anymore. You're part of your own plan. And if you're not with God, you're walking with the enemy. I hate to say that, but it's true. You're not, if you're not walking with him, you're walking with the opposite of him. Now, there are a lot of people that think that you can do both. And that's, that was me. I thought I could do all the spiritual stuff and self-help stuff, but also walk with God. And I was majorly deceived. And there are millions and millions of people that think that they can do that too, that think that they can go to yoga and then go to church after. And that's not how it works. And there's, if you look up you know, the deception of yoga, it might shock you really. I believe it's from Hindu, Hinduism and all of those positions you're doing in yoga are positions that they would do to worship their gods and deities or whatever the heck they do. I don't know, but it's not worshiping actual God. And I will say that my life really went downhill after I got big into yoga and meditation because I was opening up doors that I shouldn't have been opening in the spiritual world. I was opening myself up to just all of this stuff that wasn't God, wasn't of God. And it was like taking over my life. And it always starts with something very simple, a little carrot, like yoga or meditation. Like this will make you feel better. And it will make you feel better until it becomes an addiction. And then you're stuck. And then you're trying to find another thing to fix that problem. And then another thing to fix that problem. And it just never ends y'all, it never ends. So even if you're with God, even if you're praying to God, I was still praying to God, but I was also praying to spirit guides, and angels and whatever else was helping me that I thought was helping me. And it wasn't, it was just pulling me further away from God. But thank God I was still praying to God because I feel like I was still somewhat protected because I was praying to God too. And I wonder, you know, if I wasn't praying to him that whole time that I was into that stuff, like what would have happened to me, man? 
I don't know if I would have ever got out of it. I really don't know. Anyway, one thing I really wanted to talk about today, which is why I turned this camp on, is to pray for your loved ones and your family members and your friends that are in new age and who are deceived. You know, you may think that you're awake to the agendas that are going on in the world, which, yeah, they're agendas. They're dark agendas. But you could still be deceived in other ways. And that's something that I didn't realize. Like, I knew that all that stuff was bad and evil, but I never associated it with the actual devil or hell or Satan himself, you know? Even though to me now it's pretty obvious that he's in charge of all this worldly stuff that's going on. But I was still deceived by the new age, which is part of his agenda as well. He wants you to follow his thought process, not God's. He wants you to get as far away from the Bible and that word as he can. As far away as he can get you from that is what he'll do. And he'll use anything, guys. He'll use psychics, tarot readers. He'll use drinking, partying, rap music, you know, dark music. He'll use anything. And if you notice, when you listen to like hardcore rap music, I used to love it because I was a big partier. And it would like hype me up and make me want to party and actually do bad things. Like it actually influenced me to do bad things to myself. The Bible tells you to be of sound mind, you know, be alert, be discerning, be of sober mind. You know, when you, you know, one drink, okay, you're still sober, but when you exceed, when you exceed that, and you, or if you're doing drugs or even mushrooms, like you are opening yourself up to the other side and the other side is darkness and it's not good. You know, if you've had, if you struggled with drugs and addictions and stuff before, you know that it's dark. You know that it doesn't feel good. You know all those things already. And it's like, when it has that hold on you, it's tough. You, you really don't have any other way to go but towards God and towards towards Jesus Christ as your, as your Savior. He's the only one that can save you. If you're looking to be saved by somebody else or by a new age concept or by whatever, it doesn't matter. If you're looking to be saved from, from something other than Jesus Christ, you're going to lose. You just, you just are. And so that was like most of my life. I wanted to be saved. I had a lot of uh, codependent relationships where, you know, I thought that person was going to make me feel good or happy. And I put all my eggs in that basket, in that person's basket. And I was suffering. I, I went through a ton of suffering in my life because I didn't have Jesus Christ, because I wanted to do it my way. And I thought, and I idolized other people and other things. So what I really want to say uh, is pray for your friends and family who are confused, who are still in new age, who are doing yoga, who are doing meditation and think that their life is going to be better or it's going to help them because it's not. It's just, it's just a door that opens to another door and another door and another door. And there is no satisfaction and it's so empty. And I also want to say that I have a lot of family who are Christians, who have always walked the narrow road, who have never left God's side. And they are the happiest, most at peace people I have ever met. And when I was younger, I thought they were nerds. And I really was like, that's so boring. <laughs> I thought it was a boring life. But that's really the life that we're all deep down craving. It's a peaceful, happy, loving life, right? But I wanted to do my own thing. I wanted to experience partying. I wanted to experience, you know, boys. I wanted to experience all different types of things. And I did them. And they were horrible. And they only led me right back to God and right back to wanting to have a peaceful life, right? But this entire time, I didn't know that they were all praying for me. And that is how powerful prayer is. I honestly feel like their prayers over the years are part of why I was saved. I really genuinely do. And when I uploaded that testimony, they said that they've been praying this whole time and they all teared up. They were all, you know, crying. My aunt was crying. My cousins were crying because it's such a beautiful thing when you pray for somebody and you see it come true. That's how powerful prayer is. You know, when you manifest something and you create something yourself, there's no satisfaction in it. You just want more. But when you're praying for somebody and you see that miracle happen, it's like there's nothing better. There's nothing more fulfilling than praying for someone and seeing their life turn around, you know? So I feel like that's really what I want to talk about to, wanted to talk about today is just pray without ceasing. Pray for your friends. Pray for your family. If they're deceived, just keep praying, guys. Your prayers work. They work. I'm, I'm a living example of how prayer works. You know, Jesus Christ saved me. And he is number one in my life now. And my life is completely different. I am so blessed in so many ways. And they might not be the ways of the world, but they're the ways of God. 
and there's no better way than God's way. So this video is getting a little bit long, but that's the main message I wanted to, to spread today is just keep praying for them. Guys, keep praying for them. Just pray so hard. And it's funny because when I was praying, when I was still practicing new age and I would pray, there was such a distinct difference in the way that I was praying that I was always praying for myself and it was so selfish. And sometimes God did bless me, but when I became God's child again, which I never wasn't God's child, but when I truly submitted to him again and started praying to him, I noticed that my prayers never had anything to do with me. Now when I pray, I'm praying for my friends, I'm praying for my family, I'm praying for the world. And it's such a different way of living and it's such a better way of living. It's so much more fulfilling. I can't even, I can't even explain it. Like I wish I could, ah, it's so hard to get, get the message across just on a camera, you know? But man, God is so good, guys. God is so good. He wants to get close to you and the Bible says, if you want to get close to him, he'll get close to you. You know, seek him and he'll, he'll seek you. All the seeking you're doing in New Age, all the seeking that people are doing, looking for purpose, looking for answers. When you're a seeker like that and you're an overanalyzer, an overthinker, and I know many of them because I'm friends with a lot of them, and a lot of them, you know, were so similar in that way. What you're really seeking is Jesus Christ. You're seeking God the whole time. That's all you're seeking. That hole, that void in your heart should be filled with God is a hole that should be filled with God. Yenny agrees. The kitty agrees. She just, <laughs> she just meowed like, yeah. <laughs> so with that being said, thank you for su subscribing to my channel. If you made it to the end of this video, I love you so much for that. Thank you. I know that I've gotten a lot of new subs, which has been super cool. I'm going to try and leave the comments open just so I can connect with you all. And, um, you know, if there's haters or ha there's haters, then I must be doing something right. Right. And also, I'm back on Instagram, so if you want to follow me and actually talk to me on there in DM or whatever, I my IG handle is Ashley D. Falsetti, and I'll talk to you guys there, and I'll see you in my next video.